The underground hip hop scene of the early 2010s was a breeding ground for new and exciting talent with the bubbling technology surrounding social media and the internet as a whole. But few artists were as influential and controversial as Space Ghost Perp, even though in the newer generations he has arguably been forgotten. His dark, brooding beats and menacing lyrics quickly established him as a leader of the so-called funk movement, a subgenre of southern hip-hop that blended classic 90s rap with modern trap elements. But Space Ghost Perp's rise to fame was anything but smooth. He was an unpredictable figure, prone to feuds and rivalries with his peers, and his explosive personality often overshadowed his musical genius. His fallout with members of his own group, Raider Clan, and his bitter feud that turned physical at one point with ASAP Rocky and the ASAP Mob are only two of many. Today, we'll be taking a deep dive into the rise and fall of Space Ghost Perp, exploring the highs and lows of his career and examining the factors that led to his ultimate demise. Starting with his early days of the Raider Clan, his overall influence in the music landscape, his tumultuous relationship with the ASAP Mob, and lastly, his many attempts at reclaiming his once profound name in the underground. Bountiful potential that ultimately crumbled due to his very own pride getting in the way. Born in the neighborhood of Carroll City in Miami, Florida in 1991 as Marquise Money Roll, Space Ghost Perp first started rapping at the mere age of 5 years old and producing his own beats at 13. Once he realized his talent for music, he quickly graduated high school and began uploading music to his YouTube channel named Space Ghost Perp MJ23. Keep in mind, this was long before SoundCloud really became popular. He would eventually emerge as a solo artist in 2010 with his debut mixtape, NASA The Mixtape, which showcased his distinctive style of murky, bass-heavy beats, eerie samples, and slow, drawn-out rhymes that drew comparisons to the likes of 3-6 Mafia, DJ Screw, and Bone Thugs in Harmony. But it was his formation of Raider Clan in 2008 that truly set him apart from his peers as the undistinguished leader of the group. Inspired by the Memphis-based horrorcore group 3-6 Mafia, as well as early 90s gangster rap of Wu-Tang Clan and Ghetto Boys, Space Ghost Perp brought together a group of like-minded rappers, producers, and visual artists who shared his vision of a dark, occult-inspired sound that reflected the gritty reality of their surroundings. Famous Raider Clan members and associates include Denzel Curry, Rob Banks, Puya, Chris Travis, Young Simi, Xavier Wolf, and more. The Raider Clan quickly gained a cult following on social media, thanks in part to their distinctive logo and their organic approach to music creation and promotion. Over the next few years, the Raider Clan released a series of mixtapes and albums that cemented their reputation as one of the most exciting and innovative rap groups of the early 2010s. Albums like Tales from the Underground showcased a diverse range of talents, from the smooth, soulful hums of Amber London to the hypnotic, spacey instrumentals produced by Space Ghost Perp himself. But it wasn't just their music that set the Raider Clan apart. It was their whole aesthetic, from their black and white vintage visual style to their fascination with occult symbolism and conspiracy theories. Their music videos, which often featured grainy, low-budget footage of the members rapping and smoking weed in abandoned buildings, further reinforced their underground credibility that repulsed the overproduced and large-budgeted marketing strategies of record labels. Raider Clan is credited for influencing some of the most popular rap collectives that still exist and thrive to this day. Upon Raider Clan and Space Ghost Perp's popularity skyrocketing, he and other members would begin collaborating with other upcoming and already established talents, such as the likes of Wiz Khalifa, producing on one track for the Taylor Alderdice mixtape, Lil Tracy, Juicy J, and even Lil Uzi Vert on the track White <laughs> from Purple Thoughts EP Volume 1. SGP also gained support from the West Coast group Odd Future, whereby they would play tracks from his project Blackland Radio 66.6 .6, at their concerts. SGP revealed in an interview that at one point in time, he and the group were working on a project together, although it has yet to release a decade later. But the most infamous of collaborations SGP experienced throughout his career stemmed from his trip to New York City to meet up with ASAP Mob, where he produced for ASAP Rocky's early tracks Keep It G and Pretty Flacco. To say the least, Space Ghost Perp racked up a quite solid network early on in his career with a bright future ahead of him. If he played his cards right, that is. Despite their success, the Raider Clan was plagued by internal conflicts and drama from the start. 
Space Ghost Perp, who was seen as the de facto leader of the group, clashed with other members over creative control and personal issues. In 2013, he abruptly announced his departure from the group and began to focus on his solo career. The fallout from Space Ghost Perp's departure was bitter, with accusations of theft, betrayal, and disrespect being thrown around on social media. Several members of the Raider clan accused Space Ghost Perp of stealing their beats and refusing to pay them for their contributions to his music. Space Ghost Perp returned such accusations, claiming the other members stole his ideas and refused to give him credit for his role in the group's success as a whole. One of the most prominent artists from Raider clan, Denzel Curry, had a rather public dispute with SGP, landing multiple diss tracks at each other, one of which is still a popular song to this day, synonymous with the SoundCloud era titled Space Ghost by which Denzel recruited other soon-to-be legendary Broward rappers XXXTentacion and Ski Mask the Slump God in 2016. The song followed Space Ghost Perp's rant on Twitter early January, disrespecting one of the most prominent brands behind the ASAP mob, ASAP Yams. Hence why the alternate title of the diss track was R.I.P. ASAP Yams, in order to defend his legacy. In a rather Takashi 6 9 fashion, although this was long before his time, Space Ghost Perp tweeted, Where is Yams? Oh, I forgot. He's dead. My bad. Denzel Curry and SGP would continue to trade disses at each other, including Space Ghost Perp's End of Stand 2 and Training Day The End of Denzel, whereas Denzel Curry unleashed purposely, again, alongside a young XXX Tentacion, in which he calls out SGP to send an address to pull up to to finally end the beef once and for all. The feud between Space Ghost Perp and Denzel Curry ultimately fizzled out, but it left a lasting impact on both artists' careers. For Space Ghost Perp, it was just another example of his tendency to get caught up in petty beefs and rivalries, which would ultimately contribute to his downfall. For Denzel Curry, it was a defining moment in his career and helped establish him as a rising solo star in the bubbling South Florida underground hip hop scene with the likes of XXXTentacion and others. Another notable dispute with Raider Clan was Space Ghost Perp's feud with fellow member and producer Ethel Wolf, now known as Xavier Wolf. The feud between the two rappers ultimately led to Ethel Wolf's departure from Raider Clan. Space Ghost Perp continued to berate him and other Raider Clan members on social media, specifically claiming how much more talented and complex his music was. Eventually, Ethel Wolf and other clan members such as Chris Travis replied unanimously that SGP developed mental issues and in order to ensure their success long term, they had to go independent. Xavier Wolf went on to have a successful solo career with a distinctive style of lyrical rap. Space Ghost Perp also had a falling out with fellow Raider Clan member Young Simi, after SGP accused Simi of trying to take the group in a more commercial direction, which would completely diminish the group's integrity in his eyes. The two rappers also brought their heated dispute to Twitter, exchanging diss tracks shortly after. Young Simi accused Space Ghost Perp of being a fake leader who didn't support the other members of Raider Clan, while Space Ghost Perp accused Young Simi of being disloyal and trying to start drama within the group. The feud led to Simi leaving the group as well, and the two have not reconciled since. Each of the Raider Clan members dropped out one by one it seemed, all with their own specific reasons, although quite related. But regardless of who was right or wrong, it is pretty clear that Space Ghost Perp had a tendency of bringing personal disputes to the public unnecessarily, which eventually contributed to the instability and agonizing downfall of Raider Clan as a whole. His volatile personality and inclination for drama created a toxic environment that ultimately led to the dissolution of the group. The controversy surrounding the Raider Clan's breakup settled down with time, but the impact of Space Ghost Perp's departure was felt throughout the underground hip hop scene. Without their charismatic leader, many of the individual artists of Raider Clan lost their momentum and creative edge during their respective solo careers. Although, their impact still does exist in the shadows of now popular figures. Most of Space Ghost Perp's controversies seem to be connected, as the emerging music scene were all acquaintances or knew of each other due to the ever-connectedness of the internet, especially due to SGP's negative words for ASAP Yams while deceased, who was known for his wide influence in the entertainment industry. But he and ASAP weren't always enemies. In fact, in 2011, ASAP Yams, who acted as a pseudo a r for then-independent ASAP Mob Collective, discovered Space Ghost Perp through Tumblr 
a more low-key social media platform before the days of Instagram and Twitter. Yams liked his most recent project, Blackland Radio 66.6, and invited him to New York City to meet the rest of the mob. While up north, SGP would begin producing for ASAP Rocky, including the aforementioned Keep It G on Rocky's breakout mixtape Live Love ASAP, and then later Pretty Flacco. At the time, Space Ghost Perp was still relatively unknown outside of Florida, while ASAP Rocky was on the cusp of becoming a major star thanks to his hit single Peso that released earlier that year. In fact, ASAP admitted that the two were close. Me and Top Beast is in this one room living together. Then Perk lived with us. Now it's three niggas in the one Damn. like bedroom thing, right, right. living with my moms. Yeah. That's just how he was, and, and, and everybody adopted this love for everybody on some, you know, on some on some real like brotherly shit. Yeah. According to a now deleted Facebook post by Space Ghost Perp, he hid at Rocky's mom's house for two weeks to lay low from police after beating up someone who was disrespecting Rocky after a live show. Space Ghost Perp and ASAP's relationship wouldn't last long after that though. For the Thanksgiving of 2011, SGP apparently went back home to visit family. Meanwhile, ASAP Rocky was in talks with record labels on funding other ASAP members for their own careers. Space Ghost Perp denied the offer It was frankly insulted by the low number, considering how much he believed he contributed to Rocky's success. Rocky's side of the story explains, Like I was already blowing up, but yeah. once I... I think that was around the time when like the, the perp niggas started talking crazy. He went back home and just switched up for no reason on some like right. on some for no reason shit. You know, and I and I'm a I'ma keep it a buck with you, bro. Like when he left, yeah. niggas, everybody from what we know, we was all on great terms. I'm talking about right, right. this nigga would out of nowhere just start crying for some sometimes and he was sad and the truth is I think he was homesick. You know, next thing I know, drama started. He started telling niggas I only tried to give him fifty thousand dollars and sign him and I yeah. gave everybody an ASAP five hundred thousand dollars yeah. to sign him. I'm like, nigga, I'm not no major label. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, give everybody yeah. five hundred thousand yeah. dollars. Like the same month, Space Ghost Perp started an argument with ASAP 12V on Twitter, leading to Rocky dissing Raider Clan on a song called Yao Ming Remix soon after. Fortunately, other ASAP mob members defended Space Ghost Perp and squashed the beef before it got out of hand. To reconcile the differences, Rocky dropped Pretty Flacco as a shout out to the Trill Wave genre and Space Ghost Perp, and the two seemed to be on good terms again. The piece was only short lived though, for in April 2012, ASAP Mob played an unreleased Space Ghost Perp track at Coachella, leading to another argument with ASAP Yams. Through the rest of 2012 and early 2013, Space Ghost Perp accused ASAP of using elements of his production without proper credit, such as the tracks I Need Money, which was later titled Max Julian, and Suddenly, both performed by ASAP Rocky. The relationship would forever be dismantled though when ASAP 12 assaulted Raider Clan member Stoops in New York City. Space Ghost Perp soon took to Twitter. The beef extended throughout each of the collectives, especially after Perp accused Rocky of stealing his lyrics on the newly released hit song Goldie, and eventually blew out of proportion in November of 2012 when Space Ghost Perp and Raider Clan attacked the mob just outside of Miami while they were on tour. According to reports, more than 30 clan members surrounded the parking lot where a fight broke out and several shots were fired. ASAP Rocky stayed in the safety of his tour bus while ASAP Bari handled the situation outside. Photos of Space Ghost Perp in handcuffs surfaced soon after. Rocky responded in a red carpet interview at the BET Awards when asked about the situation. I mean, if you really look at it, the proof is in a pudding. He's corny, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, stick to making beats. That's all I got to say. Less than a year later, in March 2013, Space Ghost Perp and affiliates once again attacked ASAP Mob in their home city of New York. The collectives apparently resolved their conflicts before the death of Yams in 2015, but ASAP Bari would prevent Perp from reuniting with the mob after the multiple incidents. Justifiably, he was too much of a risk. But in retrospect of the whole ordeal, Space Ghost Perp claimed to have played a key role in shaping the ASAP mob's sound and style during their early years. In fact, in an interview with DJ Vlad, he claimed that he taught ASAP Rocky how to rap and produce beats, and that he even recorded some of the group's earliest material in his home studio. In an interview with Kerwin Frost, ASAP Rocky partially admits SGP's statements to be true, but grossly exaggerated. 
Space Ghost Perp and Top Beats taught me how to produce in 2011. They taught me how wow. to make beats, my nigga. Wow. That's the first niggas who taught me how to make beats. Damn. This is this is facts. I'll, I'll admit this on camera, bro. Wow. But but the thing is, he came and told niggas. He taught me how to rap. He taught me how to dress. He taught me Damn. how to swag. And it's like, bro, I didn't right, meet right. you till I was no. lit, nigga. No. Pesos. I met you after that video came Damn. out physically. You know what I'm saying? You lived with us for six months, bro. Like, don't make it seem like, you know what I'm saying? Like, some shit is not, you know? But as the ASAP Mob's fame grew, Space Ghost Perp began to feel increasingly marginalized and disrespected. He claimed that the group had utilized his sound and ideas and claimed them as their own. The fallout from Space Ghost Perp's feud with the ASAP Mob was swift and severe. He was widely criticized for his behavior, with many accusing him of being jealous and bitter after their overwhelming success, while his career never seemed to catch such mainstream attention. Some even suggested that he was trying to capitalize on the ASAP Mob's success by stirring up controversy, therefore attaching his name to the group on their way up. Although, it seemed to have backfired, and that opposing one of the most popular and influential groups in contemporary hip-hop gained him a lot more enemies than allies. And in an industry based on connections and favors, only decreased his chances of making it big. As expected, Space Ghost Perp's career suffered as a result of the feud, his music was largely ignored by mainstream media and radio, and his reputation among hip-hop fans was tarnished, almost certainly due to the countless online quarrels he started with previous music collaborators. Nobody wanted to work with him anymore or even support his movement, especially after the disputes with his own crew members. He continued to release solo music though, including an assortment of singles and mixtapes throughout the years, but he never regained the same level of attention and influence that he enjoyed during the heyday of the Raider Clan. Eventually, he took heed of Rocky's advice to stick to making beats in 2019, although he has sporadically released tracks with vocals over the years, but definitely not as frequently. In the late 2010s, Space Ghost Perp laid low on social media, around the time he exclusively produced, tending to be a less public position. However, in 2020, he set his sights at Rocky once again on Twitter, claiming he cut off ASAP after lying about his sexuality. This is the main real reason why everybody hates Space Ghost Perp for no reason and been bashing my name because I found out his biggest secret and he got mad because I cut him off for lying about his sexuality. I'm tired of holding my tongue. Back in 2011, I was invited to this party in New York by ASAP Rocky. I was pulling up with my girl and I was on the phone like, yo, bro, where you at? I don't see. He was like, yo, look down. I'm right here. Next thing you know, he in the pool rubbing a man's ass. So if you want to know why ASAP Rocky and ASAP and every rapper hate me so much, it's because I stopped hanging with him because he didn't tell me that he was homosexual on the low and I felt like he lied about his life. So in order for him to keep his secret, he got me blacklisted in music. Potentially showcasing his cognitive dissonance towards his feud with ASAP Rocky that obviously did not bode well for his career and therefore his mind could be self-rationalizing poor decisions to alleviate feelings of guilt or shame. Or it could just be another clout stunt. For Rocky, sexuality has been a conversation piece ever since 2013 in a feature on Interview Magazine, in which he was one of the first rappers to dismiss homosexuality as something that should not matter in hip-hop. In 2018, ASAP Rocky also admitted his love for throwing orgies at his Beverly Hills mansion, starting the practice in 7th grade during lunch breaks with other men involved, mind you. Perhaps Space Ghost Perp was just using these statements as ammo for the online attacks. Regardless, Space Ghost Perp has since revealed that he is on the spectrum for autism in a 2019 YouTube live stream. I was born, I, I told y'all last year that I got Asperger's. I have autism. I don't need mental help or like therapy and then which could explain his obvious disconnect in communication with his peers as well as reading emotions and context regarding the more recent statements about asap rocky and so the tale of space ghost perp should be a cautionary tale about the pitfalls of fame ego and creative ambition he rose to prominence as an innovator creating a unique sound and aesthetic that influenced a generation of hip-hop artists but his own ego and the pressures of success ultimately led to his downfall. Space Ghost Perp's disloyalty to his own collective, Raider Clan, was just a taste of what he would experience with ASAP Mob, 
highlighting the disadvantages of his toxic personality that was once part of the reason for his explosive growth in the beginning, as well as the dangers of getting too caught up in rivalries. Today, Space Ghost Perp remains an enigmatic figure in hip hop. He continues to release music and maintain a loyal fan base, but undoubtedly no longer commands the same level of attention and influence that he once did. Not to mention, persisting with the occasional online rants on Twitter towards relevant figures in music such as Playboy Cardi, Lil Uzi Vert, and most recently, Yeet. He has even threatened me in the past. His legacy, however, lives on through the many artists that he inspired and influenced. Hopefully, he gets the help that he needs.